Hi everyone, the Lord Wolf here and welcome back for some more EVE Online. Welcome also to CC, the test server for EVE Online where CCP is holding the first mass test for 2019. The aim, as is being explained here by CCP Hubbuckuck, is to uh, mostly look at several fixes which uh, should have reduced the likelihood for position desync. Um, so uh, what uh, what I think we often have is that you get a bit of a desync between your actual position in the client and your position on uh, the server on grid and so that's when you get these weird uh, mo movements and, and placements uh, and uh, also probably some sort of teleporting uh, from ships from time to time on the grid. Uh, this happens in sev several cases after colliding with other objects. We'll be running several related test cases during this mass test. So it's definitely pretty uh, important just from uh, the general uh, vibe and immersion I would say of, of bigger fights. It's, it's not fun to have uh, titans like teleport all over the place because they're getting bumped for instance you want to know pretty much where they're at and you want to know that what you're seeing is somewhat logical compared to what you get on the overview of course and so that is something that uh, that ccp wants to, uh, wants to improve i also often see this on on like jita and doc i think when it's very busy there you can see some strange things with um with the placement of ships mostly others actually uh, i think on uh, on your client so hopefully this can help fix that we'll of course also keep an eye on the fps mother monitor to see how the current version on uh, the uh, test server is holding up this is with the gtx 980 um, this is like two generations behind the latest ones now but uh, i feel like uh, it's still holding up quite well although i may look into an upgrade at some point in the future uh, let's see unfortunately there's no easy way uh, for you to know if you are desynced, but you can try to jettison an item and a jettison can should be put close to your ship if you are not moving. Uh, so for that pur uh, purpose, uh, I'll quickly take that out. Actually, I'll move that here so that uh, we can keep the FPS monitor. Um, I got some extra items. So here are some exotic dancers ready to be jettisoned into space uh, to help with uh, the testing of that. So it'll work out. Uh, first steps, I think, was just to jump into the gate. Launching drones works as well. Okay. Well, can't say that I've experienced uh, drones popping out in a weird place that often, but we'll see if we can... Um, if we can uh, make it happen or at least we'll follow the steps and then hopefully we don't see anything strange that would indicate of course that the fixes are uh, working um, anything special here where you can see that we've got a pretty mixed uh, bag here we get quite a few sub capitals but also some titans and some uh, capitals in here this was by request from ccp they said that they wanted a nice mix of everything because it's actually mostly the bigger ships um Let's get started. All sub capitals jumps to XBV. So let's uh, follow the steps here and let's get started. But yeah, you'll see some capitals, supers and things like that as well. Uh, because it's to try and get a general feeling of how the current version is working, of course. And we end with the typical PvP fight. Now, on the audio front, we've got some weird bleeding uh, that happens. Oh, the gate effect is still <laughs> really cool. Look at that. Everyone coming from system behind the planet and because they are in subspace of course they don't actually collide with the planet but they can just zoom right through it that is very cool and so here now everyone is landing and i think we'll need to find the keep star so it's going to be that so let's start by aligning with that one as well and uh yeah i'm not sure if this could be helpful but i also have a little bit of a bug here so whenever i select another target for my selected items you can see here that the look at ship um, button bugs out until i cl actually press it and then i'm trying to press look at on uh ilin zero here but it doesn't actually do anything so i would have to go back to my ship and yeah it's just bugging out a little bit uh, sub capitals warp to planet nine okay warp within zero uh, so this is something that i'll definitely report as well but Basically, if I cover it as part of the video, perhaps it can help uh, CCP notice exactly what's happening. So let's get to warp here. Takes a little bit of time, but we'll be fine. And so here now, if I click, you can see this should be the look at button instead of the look at my ship button. 
and as a result there's definitely uh, something that seems to be bugged. Now there's there's ways apparently to fix it so once we land here I'll uh, try to show that again. So once we're out of warp we're actually uh, put on the grid so right now we should be on the grid and then I can start to do a look at but you get we get this bug again what does still work is I can just right click and uh, no nope, can't look at from here I can in space though so here we have the look at option and now you can see that the button is back to look at my ship and I do go back so that one is pretty normal uh, but that one yep just isn't Working the way it should. Ooh, that's the Sino coming in. <laughs> Capital ships jump to the Sino. Ah, oh, that still looks really, really good as well, of course. Performance here, not much to say. Uh, it is only 144 in local, though. So this is, as of yet, not a very big mass test. But yeah, just click on these. And what should be the look at the target button um, is basically replaced by the look at my ship button and if I if I press it I mean, it's not easy to see now but you can see that it, it tries to basically look at that target but it still goes back to my own ship so if I would take something like a Kronos back there click on that and it basically puts me in line with uh, with the target there so what I can do however is a right click on this one and then I can still do the look at Damn it, didn't work. Right click, look at, there you go. And now of course, well, it's it's the wrong button again. It should be the look at my ship uh, with the little cross here. So definitely seems to be something wrong on that one. I can click on it and get back to my ship though. And now it works as you would expect, but it doesn't change. So there is definitely something wrong with that ma uh, part here. So a line two, I think the fleet has basically uh, been told to do so. Oh, no, I'm actually not moving. All right, right click and a line two. As still more people come in though, 170 now. So this is starting to be a little bit busier on this grid. Let's jump to the side now. Okay, we are ready. I am aligning, as is everyone else. FPS, yeah, 50 to 60. That's looking okay F for the busyness. Decently stable. Drones are ready, and cargo hold is ready as well. All right. Anything that we can notice? Maybe I'll do a quick burst of the afterburner just to try and uh, get away a little bit. But yeah, I still feel like I am where I should be. So let's let's do a quick test. Select myself. And then we'll drop our drones. And you can see them here around me. That feels pretty logical. Return those to drone bay. And up, oh, they are inside the drone base. That that looks and feels pretty normal. Um, that's a pretty nice view. Let's hide all brackets. Just you know, that's what you would do uh, in fleet settings to uh, increase performance. And I I love how the phantasm here is uh, going on ahead of everyone. If you're experiencing any bugs, please send a bug report, or you can take a look at it in mass questions. Um, yeah, and I, I report the bug there. Just I wanted to see if everyone in, if uh, everyone else has it. Okay, but uh, haven't really had a response like that. So we'll uh, we'll work it out, and we are aligned. Look at that effect, though, and that is from the fireworks. Yeah. And yeah, mostly the fireworks. I think that that does look nice. That glow is uh, crazy cool. Look at it in the shadow of this uh, planet here. And the star is actually white blue. So the fireworks seem to be giving off this uh, this red radiance. 
Very cool. Ready for the next step at this point, or is anything else? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick test to see. Yeah, we're still here, ready to go. So that should be okay. Some more requests. And my guess is that at this point, we, we basically worked ourselves out of a, a, a bumping situation uh, that CCP was uh, looking at, uh, at the results there. So we get to dock there, we'll do that. Look at him go. Very nice. And what happens here? Yeah, again. It should be without a cross and just a straight look at. And now if I click on it, see that it just resets to me and it's still not the right button. So really my only option is to do a right click and while we're in warp we can't actually look at it. Okay, here is the keep star though. Let's see what happens here. And there comes the rest. Docking request accepted. That's still something that I'm hoping will at some point in the far far future be possible. Uh, that they'll allow you to like have formations uh, so that when you're coming out of warp you can warp out in a formation. That would be so cool. And I will go view outside of the station I think for now. So that we can uh, maybe keep an eye on what's happening here. Get an idea of when everyone is docked up. <laughs> so there are the tethers and then you can see one of the titans docking. Don't need that right now. And the guest list going up 143, almost 200 in local. So, yeah, people did decide to come. And lots of background noise, I have to say. from I think it's from the keep store maybe it's from the fleet does feel like there's there's a bit much of it but all right we will see for now everything is at least working no crashes or anything like that guests up to 150 come on one more Undock and align to planet 9. Alright, pressing the undock button. So here we go, I'm looking at myself, at least that's logical. Let's take a quick look at everything else. Undocking from all of the uh, ports. Should remind you a little bit of the trailer where there's a whole fleet coming out. To defend the keep star. Very cool, and I'm uh, I'm basically down here. So we had Planet Nine. Oh, we can go here, of course. Uh, it's straightforward, basically. All right, align two. We are tethered again with quite a bit of noise. Hoping that it's actually okay, or is that reset? Taking that actually looks decently normal. So we'll leave it at that and hope that it doesn't create too much noise on the video planet 9 is aligned so there you go actually quite a few faxes as well on this one some dreadnoughts of course error call always has to be one that's usually a pink one so makes a lot of sense and some more dreadnoughts there 
and then up here the titan squad and i'm down here with the battleships is there anything yeah smaller here you've got uh the new battle cruiser the drekevac which again i can't just look at lock target look at my ship that's that's wrong that's not what i should see here look at that does work i think it's pretty obvious so just be able to uh off we go fleet warp so we can just take that one not a problem and warping to planet 9 this time i'm not alone look at that a couple carriers dreads and faxes and the battleships here as well man that dominic skin i want to look at it let's see if i can make that happen God damn, camera. Oh, it's the um, rogue drone one. Yeah, looks really good. And then, of course, we form Voltron. And as a result, there should be some bumping when we're getting out there with potentially the desync, of course. So, now I'm basically becoming a thruster for... Um, for this fax, <laughs> it almost fits as well. And look how small a battleship is compared to that Titan right next to it. That's pretty cool. Let's get out of uh, warp here. Someone smart bombing, I think. And then keep a close eye on what happens. So I'm out of warp. Okay. Usually you see your speed move up a little bit as you get bumped in all directions. For now, that does not seem to be the case. What if I give myself a line to planet 1? Do not warp. A line 2. Align two. So that's a move order that you're giving. And now it needs to basically find its way on the grid, I think, to do so. There is some stalling to my speed. And, well, I'm just basically in here somewhere. <laughs> in that big pile of metal. So we're slowly turning. Couldn't even give you guys like a visual or something like that that would show the desync at this point, of course. Uh, I can. It takes like a really long time for me to speed up, so definitely feels like I'm bumping around here a little bit. So if you want to get out of that, maybe you can try your afterburner to just try and speed up a little bit get out and ahead of some of those bigger ships like right here you can see the battle cruiser doing so and i myself trying to do so yeah we're gonna at least it feels like we're not getting bumped completely out of the way in something that could desync us but doesn't look too logical of course yeah formation warpings that's what we need but there we go made it out of the titan and then i'll quickly drop my drones which yeah we're not seeing oh of course i took out my um on the overview so yeah they're hanging around me so that still feels pretty logical and then you do a return and they find me right away stop your ship control space okay and i will probably have to drop something i suspect So 
So potentially another problem as well is that the desync really shows up on your client and not necessarily on the server, but we'll see. I am ready. Speed's dropping. <laughs> Still around 60 FPS, so all of this does feel pretty good. Again. So instead of the look at button, we're basically getting the look at my ship button. And then if I press it, I look at my own ship. So that doesn't fix it. What I can do is, yeah, click on it until I'm definitely on my ship. Then go on the overview, a right click. Nope, still says look at my ship. Yeah, there, there's a weird bug in there. We'll definitely have to report it. Uh, maybe I can do a print screen at this point already. Uh, someone that's still no next step. Okay. Let's see if we can find someone back to align to planet one. Align two. Okay. So, for instance, this one. And then we'll do a print screen. Uh, which drops my <laughs> FPS by quite a bit all of a sudden, but it's mostly for this part, which should be, and then here we've got a right click, and all I can see is a look at my ship, so we'll do, take another print screen of that, uh, which, which ought to be look at, like this one, which then finally fixes it. But then now it's a look at button, which brings me back to my ship. And so now if I select someone else, the bug is back. We're back at the look at my ship rather than the look at button. Okay. Back on the align train. Yeah, and I, I, I just want to take a look at all of these ships, but... Oh, now it fixed itself. Okay. Interesting. How the hell did that happen? So it's the red glow again. Um, let's see. Clicking, it's back. And then did I like hover above something else? Or no, I moved the camera. Nope. That yep, moved the camera a bit. And now it does go to the look at button. Hmm. Please wait for the fleet warp and take the warp. It will lead you to the undock point of a Tatara. So, at this point, let's try to look back at my ship. Select someone. And then move my camera. And now it, it de sort of debugs. Okay. Kind of a weird one as well. So, would switching to tactical camera and back. Maybe I'll try that after we land on grid. See if a camera reset might get rid of the bug. That's, that's why we're on the test server, of course, <laughs> to find out if there are problems and uh, things that we need to report. And then, you know, the more information you can provide CCP, the better the chance that they'll be able to fix it, of course. So that's why I'm just, you know, doing everything I can possibly imagine uh, to, uh, to find out what the behavior is like. So now, of course, we don't have anything on the overview, but you can still click on uh, a target. So while I don't move my camera uh, outside of a zoom the zoom it remains but now if I start to move my camera around no doesn't do anything a right click nope still staying in the bugged mode so it doesn't seem to be working the way I thought it would uh, a tatara oh Okay. XPV collision targets. 
Hopefully W will follow soon, so they're basically doing their own things. So now we're bouncing around again in the middle of this ball. And then let's... Uh, oh, yep, there you go. It, it actually fixed itself, so let's get the bug again. Right click to look in a different direction doesn't work. Look around a bit. Should fix... Yep, there we go. You just saw it change to what you would normally expect, look at, and then the track option. Um, and so let's quickly go... So now we're bumping. Um, anything we should be aligning to or... Let's take a quick look here. Align to the broadcasts. Uh, history. Align to. There we go. Back to mass testing. And then... What did I want to test? Now... Oh, of course. My own fleet. I don't really have a lot on overview. So I can't test with the Nagelfar. There is the bug again. Let's go in tactical view. Um... Click on it. Yeah, that does mean that I can. But of course it behaves differently when you're in tactical mode. And damn, we're warping too early <laughs> for me to see if that fixes it. No, nope, it's still there. I click on the Nagel 4 and it's still there. All right. All right. Something else that we can exclude. Off we go. Uh, let's see what the bumping is all about here. Oof. That's, you can see on the performance, a little bit heavier for the, um, for the client. And we land right in the middle of this one. In order to, of course, create that bumping problem okay and then yep there we go 1500 meters a second trying to make my way out of the structure the collision of the structure and so we're all just bouncing around a little bit which of course makes sense right uh, you want to see if you eventually end up like somewhere else on your client then what the server uh, puts you at. And in a scenario like this, that might definitely happen. And you can tell that people just were bumped in different directions, probably with different velocities as well, depending on how they interacted uh, with, uh, with the structure and each other. And I am down here at zero tethered and I could try to usually that's what I would do at this point right try to move away a little bit and then if I drop my drones select one yeah they are in logical position still so it does look like I'm where I'm supposed to be basically it's still not perfect because I'm still bumping around here, but if I try to go in that direction, we should be okay. And someone is really enjoying the fireworks. Uh, if you were bounced off, please check your position by jettisoning some items. So we're going to try and jettison some items. Yes. And then uh, for a moment, we'll do show all brackets and there it is that's the cargo container that i just dropped let's do another one with the ah need need uh, to wait three minutes to do another jettison <laughs> so 36 have to wait to 39 if you your container should be very close to your ship which it was for me so this does look pretty good from my perspective of course from what i read uh on the forum thread it's it's mostly capitals and supers that uh, run into problems anything else happening here okay 
If not, take a screenshot and send a bug report. <laughs> Alright. Looks pretty good. Fireworks, yeah, tanking performance a little bit though. Look at that, 50 FPS. Um, zooming out, we're recovering back towards the 60. But we're not even really shooting anything. And uh, performance, yeah, uh, down a little bit. Make us up here as well. All right, that's good target for the PvP fight. And now you can see all of the uh, cargo containers as well. How long do I still have to wait to jettison these male exotic dancers? Uh, still more than a minute. Not sure if we'll get the chance to. Oh, and that of course will uh, be a problem for performance as well, of course. Because we're adding all of these cargo containers to the grid. Uh, about 200 of them. So, yeah. 220 in local as well. Alright, getting, getting to some reasonable mass test numbers, I would say. And I was there to link for people. Uh, how do you know whether it's your container or someone else's? Uh, I think you can see that. There we go. This one says uh, the load space rules go incorporated. And that's how you know it's yours. <laughs> From your corporation. That might be good to go. 10 seconds. Right, gonna try one last one. Align to Poitot right after I jettison this puppy. And that's it. Yep, there it is. Pretty close to uh, less than two kilometers uh, from me. So, looks good. Uh, we changed the plan a bit. Align to Poitot. Uh, Stargates, Poitot, Align to. All subcaps will be jumping to point dot. Okay. Uh, Stargates, point dot, and jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two two twenty, and you can see performance. Not super optimal anymore. Still very doable, of course, but not rock solid, I should say. Um, Rattlesnake and Aleshak. So you, I mean, for me, it's the tracking is set automatically, so that does work. But you can see now that, um, and there we go. Now it did just reset itself. Is it because my tracking is on? Uh, could be. Capitals, prepare for another signage jump. If you are out of... Then use the gates. Okay. I wonder if people will have the discipline not to start fighting right away. Leshek does look crazy good. And I'll start uh, hiding the brackets again. To get on that 60 FPS, please. The fight uh, can be a bit tougher, of course. So if we go. Warp to planet 1 in Poitot. Planet 1. Uh, I'll, I'll do a warp it in 10. Just to try not to get stuck in everything. Now what's our fleet at? 100 members. Okay, that seems reasonable. Pretty, pretty even. Capitals have to wait.
Only 90 so far? Come on, guys. Follow the instructions. Okay. So here we go, subcap fleets. That, that still works, right? This still feels like this is how a fleet could come out of warp. Especially with the smaller ships like that. This is not an insane ball, but it also only works because we each warped individually. In a fleet warp, it like bunches you up uh, to a single point. So that doesn't make as much sense as, as this. And then you get all of that bumping and of course those, um, those problems. And so I'm a little bit behind them at 10 kilometers. Someone else at 20 here in a rock. Maybe I should start moving, just so that I'm not the sitting duck. Does that look good? Yep. Yeah. Quick check. Um, graphics. Everything is on high. So that ought to be alright. And now, of course, this grid is not too busy. That feels very doable. Here's the Sino. So they will come, of course. Second Sino. Capitals jump to the Sino. Local at 120. And now jumping up. There's the hot drop. No PvP, please. Gotcha. Right on top of me, yeah, but nothing that I'm colliding with. I'm actually running into that uh, Tengu and the Rattlesnake, probably Rattlesnake, yep. I can try another Jettison just to see. Now to find it. Uh, should be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. 1,200 meters. That's definitely pretty reasonable. Right, all brackets. Align to planet 2. Do not warp. Planet 2. Align 2. They must be getting some uh, interesting data or something like that, I think. That they're adding these extra steps, which is a good sign. Okay. Ooh, and now, I, yep, now I'm actually bumping on that carrier. You can see that, my speed decreasing. I'm trying to get over it. But it's still, I mean, it was not exactly on the carrier, but still feels somewhat logical the way we're moving here. You can also see here, I'm not sure what this one is, the Stradios also. Getting over a, a little bit of a bump here. And again with the uh, look at bug. Okay. 
and that skin damn yeah that's a very nice avatar skin with the lava pattern there almost looks like it's moving I don't think it actually is but then with the fireworks that's a pretty nice combination that looks cool PvP is allowed now, CCP Habakkuk 2 is primary target. So that's it, we're all aligned and we get to start fighting. Uh, any good targets here? Per keep one eye on the performance as well. Here is an Harbinger Navy issue and an Arbitrator. Let's press approach, get my ogres out and start firing. Uh, immediate request for shields because <laughs> I am targeted already. Uh, scram, can I still... Ah, damn, can't scram him, I don't think. But we can try to keep hitting him. And then look at performance here. Down to 30 FPS. That is, of course, typical. Especially when they start smart bombing the hell out of you as well. So we do take a bit of a hit here. If I can just get close enough. Oh, and... Uh, yeah, ogres are supposed to be out. But not seeing anything. Get a, an absolution nearby. Target's invulnerable. Uh, okay, I can target that. I'm getting reps. That is good. Finally able to target some stuff. And guess I already lost my... Uh... Oh, good God. <laughs> They're trying to catch me, but we may be sent home very quickly. Uh, if I can still fire one volley. No, nothing is helping. F mass... Uh... Mass Doomsdays from the Titans and well that quickly ends this mass test but I think for the purpose of what we were trying to test that we got in some uh, some good information and hopefully CCP can uh, work on the bugs. From my perspective this current version does seem to be working no major bugs or real problems to report so I'll do my quick little bug uh, report on um, on the look at button but other than that looks pretty good thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you all next time